Hey guys, this is Austin. Today we're going to find out, can you buy a cheap computer and turn it into a gaming PC? So this is what we've got. This is the Dell Inspiron i3650. Obviously none of these accessories are really meant for gaming, but... <laughs> Inside we have the computer itself. Now while this is a desktop, one of the things that kind of jumped out to me about it it's actually a really unusual shape. Inside, this guy is rocking an Intel Core i3-6100, 8GB of RAM, and a 1TB hard drive. It's actually really not bad. The biggest thing holding it back from gaming are the integrated graphics. That's where this comes in. This is the new AMD RX 460. What makes the 460 an interesting upgrade for a system like this is the low power requirements. So because it's only a 75 watt card, that means it's able to pull all of its power straight from the PCI slot, which with a system like this with a fairly low end power supply makes a big difference. So open this up and inside we'll see that it's a little bit of an unusual sort of layout. So basically we have the hard drive and the optical drive which are mounted vertically in the case. Now that actually is not a big deal for us because that still leaves room for a graphics card below. Okay, you know what? I've gotta say, I had really low expectations for a pre-built system like this. Installing the graphics card is really easy. All you need to do is line up with the slot, make sure that it clicks all the way into place, then swing the metal latch to hold it into place and you're good to go. So now let's find out. Did this single upgrade turn our boring desktop into a gaming PC? To start with, I tried a few games using the integrated graphics in the Core i3. It wasn't pretty. GTA 5 just really isn't playable. Even when you turn settings down to normal at 720p, we're consistently getting frame rates that dip well below 20 frames per second. Install the RX 460, however, and there's a huge difference. We're able to bump the settings up to 1080p on high, and we're getting around 60 frames per second. Moving to Dota 2, we're getting a game that's a lot more friendly to integrated graphics. So the Core i3 is able to run it on the very lowest settings at 720p, however, we are getting around 60 FPS. Install the graphics card though, and you're going to see a big difference. So at 1080p at max settings, you're gonna get around 90 frames per second. Rocket League is another game that's fairly easy to run, and we are able to get it playable on the Core i3. Now mind you, we do have to turn the settings down to 720p in performance, however, we are able to get a fairly stable 30 FPS. Move over to the RX 460, and we're getting a much smoother 90 frames per second, and that's with the settings turned up to high at 1080p. Shadow of Mordor is a fun game, but it's a lot more demanding, and the i3 really struggles here. Even with low settings at 720p, it frequently dips to around 15 FPS during the action. Surprise, surprise, move up to the RX 460, and we're able to bump the settings up to high at 1080p, and we're still getting around 50 to 60 FPS. As cool as all of this is, it doesn't make a ton of sense to buy a pre-built system and then upgrade it to make it a gaming PC. If you're willing to build it yourself, you can get a very similar level of performance for a lot cheaper. However, if you already have a desktop at home that could use an upgrade, or even an older gaming PC that just needs a little bit more graphics horsepower, for $120, the RX 460 is actually a really solid card. 